Hi guys. Okay, so I got like a real treat for you today because I have like a professional with me, so that's always interesting. Um, this is Jerry Jewell. He is a voice actor in um, a lot of the dubs, and I get to interview him today, which is really cool. So I'm really excited. Thank you for being here. Um, Just keep telling him how cool it is. <laughs> it's very and how cool. How cool I am. Honestly. You're so lucky that I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, really. Um, anyway, but yeah, he's a voice actor, and you've done so many characters that. I just love, and I've been listening to your voice like for so long because I've been watching anime for years. So it's just so great. Fruits Basket, Kodacha was great for me, um, and then of course Yuri on Ice is the big thing here. It is. It so is. yeah, it's the big thing this year so far. Yeah, I imagine this con is kind of just become Yuri on Ice the convention, and it's really been interesting. But yeah, I do have a couple questions lined up because I figured I might forget everything in the presence of someone so awesome, guys. Like, I- Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, the biggest thing for me, that I think, that I recognize is we go much faster now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot more anime that we put out all at the same time. So, uh, though I think anime is still enough of a, of a niche market that we're, we're not oversaturating it quite yet, you know, there's still room for more anime. There's always room for uh, more anime. There's always room for anime. It's like Jello, only different. Um, but as, as far as the styles, I, I find them, of course, computers have changed everything. There's a, there's a lot more experimental animation going on, right. uh, which can make it either really, really beautiful, or it can also make something not make any sense at all, That's depending on where it's used. <laughs> um, but I think technology and just the speed at which we go has changed everything. But Victor actually wasn't the first silver-haired Russian that you've ever not played. At all. Not so, at all. Um, did you know having the part as Russian Natalia help you get like into the role of Victor? It is. It is one of the ways I was cast as Victor. Oh, okay. um, I think Sunny was looking for people who already had a Russian accent. <laughs> well, it's very good. So. And, uh, and and funny enough, he was not aware that I played Russia in Italia. Oh, really? Uh, it wasn't until uh, Chris Bevins told him that I played Russia in Italia that he was even aware. So <laughs> he didn't do it on purpose. Uh, Oh really? But I know that that's the thing was... that people were like, of course they got the same person who did Russian no, because the Russian no. accent was good there. They were like, you can do a Russian accent, do it here too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like, and it, it sounds fantastic. The dub is just absolutely great. But regarding obviously the popularity of Yuri on Ice, it's massive here. Of course we've got Kubo and her crew here. Right. And it's just been insane for people to even, you know, try to experience that, getting an autograph, seeing her, everything like that. And then of course the dub is also very popular as well. So it's just kind of nuts. I would say at least give it a chance, mm -hmm. you know, you don't know until you see it. I, I, I think the thing that a lot of people should be cautious with is over comparing. Uh, it's impossible not to compare. Right. You're going to compare. If you watch the sub and then you watch the dub, you can't help it. Right. Uh, you're going to go, well, well, this guy sounds different than this guy and I like this guy's voice better. And that's totally understandable. But oftentimes, um, if you maybe every now and then give the dub a chance first. Right. And, and it's a fun trick that's played on your mind because if you watch the dub first, you associate that voice with the character. And then you go back and you watch the sub and you go, hmm, I don't know, I think I like the dub better because this guy's voice, you know, you already associate with the character. Right, and that's kind of how it is for um, us with Fruits Basket. We watch the dub, and so to me, you are Kiyosoma. <laughs> so it's it's very hard for me to even, like, I think that is, it just comes from also, you know, what you experience first. Right. And so it's like, yeah, for me, like, Kodacha, like we were saying before, Kodacha and Fruits Basket, and quite a few things, our voices, we're, we're used to hearing is yours over the dub. And, well, and one of the things I try to do, at least when I dub, is, you know, we listen to the Japanese before mm -hmm. we record. Right. Uh, what I'm listening for in that brief moment is intention, pitch of where the voice is, uh, hopefully if they've cast me in a part that is close to my vocal range, then I should more or less be able to do what they did just in English. Yeah. Uh, which I think that in my experience, I can't speak for anyone else, 
But in my experience in talking to the fans, that's what they enjoy the most, is when you're close enough to the <laughs> Japanese actor or actress that, you know, it's, it's a believable dub. The, the voice isn't so completely different that they go, oh, I hate that voice, I like the Japanese better. <laughs> You know, if it's close enough, they're more likely to go, okay, this isn't so bad. Right, and I know that the one thing people got so excited about with the Ariana stuff is how extra it was. Like, there were small things here and there that felt a little bit um, ad-libbed almost, and they almost, the lines were just so well delivered. Like, Gary running across the bridge saying he hated himself. Oh, right. Like, that was great, and just like little things here and there that just like really stuck out and brought the dub to be like this great experience, honestly. I watched it with my friends. We finished the, we finished it in Japanese. We we're like, time for the dub. <laughs> and we just rewatched it. So um, you played um, hot-headed characters like Yo, and you played Akito, who's like super deadpan, and then Victor, who's like super suave. Do you have any kind of personality of a character that you like to play the most? Um, no, not really. <laughs> uh, and I, I think the reason is, uh, for most actors, I would assume, Again, I would hate to speak for them, but but just the process, the way it works in my head is all of those things are in there already. Uh, I believe for most people, all of those things are in there already. We all have different ideas of ourself. You know, um, we all have little daydreams about being the hero or being the villain. You know, as nice as a person may be. At some point or another, chances are they thought about how to kill someone else. Uh, now, the, the, what makes you a responsible human being is going, no, that's unacceptable. I'm not doing that uh, in real life. Right. But that's the beauty of, of a creation is that you don't have that restraint. Right. So you can go ahead and play out the little fantasy according to the animation, and right. and it's perfectly fine. No one's getting hurt, and it's more a matter of. Are you reaching the people? Are you conveying the message that hopefully the Japanese were intending to have conveyed? Right, and I think that's a lot of things that with anime fans versus people who don't understand anime, they're like, oh man, this show was either A, so violent, so this, right. so that. And it's like, it, it's if just you watch show it, you guys. it's entertainment. <laughs> it's entertainment at it's the end of the day. And I think with anime fans, you know, we're just a little bit more passionate about certain things because people are right. the same way when it comes to movies. You're always going to pick certain things or, you know, entertainment in general, music, whatever. You've been a part of a lot of different genres. Um, you've probably seen so many storylines, scenarios. You've seen just about it all, oh, wow. I'm sure. Um, is there any part of Yuri on Ice that caught you off guard or surprised you in the way, like, why it's grabbing people the way it is? Well, I think there are a lot of different reasons for people that um, I, I, I hate to avoid the elephant in the room. Um, yeah. <laughs> but but we have to be careful, right? Uh, because there are other groups of people that get a completely different thing out of Yuri on Ice. So I think that's the measure of art to some extent. Is if you have created a piece that, regardless of what the creator intended, uh, that touches that many different people in that many different ways over that many different uh, <laughs> subjects, <laughs> You're right. then, you've, then you've created something special, mm -hmm. uh, no doubt about it. But after um, watching Yuri on Ice, I finally got to watch it. I know that sounds really? silly, but well, it's, I'm also directing, so oh, most wow. of my day is spent watching anime. Oh, wow. So this idea of, hey, did you go home and watch Yuri on Ice? I don't have time to go home and watch Yuri on Ice. You've got a job to do. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I did, however, take the time last weekend to watch it because I would have felt so silly coming to this convention without having seen it. Um, but after watching it again, I was left unsure if what I saw was what I saw. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Uh, I thought a lot of the same things initially that a lot of other people thought. And then I watched it, and I was like, oh, well, conceivably, maybe it, maybe none of that happened. Right. <laughs> it's, it's such an interesting thing because it really is a viewer interpretation. Right. And right. so that's why it's like, well, it, the show gives you, it lays out for you what it wants you to see, and then how you take from it is what right. you take from it. And I think 
sometimes people get a little bit too passionate on not sure because there is nothing set in stone with durian ice. Exactly. And exactly. that's kind of what's great about it. It is, it's the exact same thing as ice skating. It's a piece that is to be interpreted yes. by you, the judge. We will. It so. falls into the we will have to wait and see what happens category. It really does because now we get a movie apparently. <laughs> so that should be really interesting. But yeah, I just know that this is definitely your ice con. There were so many people that were excited. They were like, oh, the voice of Victor's coming. Oh, the voice of Yuri's coming. Oh my gosh, everybody's coming. It's Yuri on Ice the Con. Yes. And just the excitement in the air for it. I just think it's great. Um, I know that a lot of people, you know, are on the fence about Yuri on Ice as a show, but I think if they give it a chance, they'll be able to interpret something good from it. You know, after watching the whole thing, I could have turned the volume down and not listened to the dub at all or even cared about that and still gone, wow, this is amazing. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful it's piece beautiful of work. It's beautifully animated. Honestly. It is all around. It is a beautiful piece of work. Yeah, it really is. And whether or not people have any, you know, what they take away is what they take away. Right. And uh, But yeah, it's I'm really enjoying the reception Yuri on Ice is getting here. And so it's really good. I hope that it continues to flourish. And I do too. It's, like a, it's a wonderful show. I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, I'm really glad Josh Greeley's a part of it um, <laughs> and Micah. Uh, but, you know, it's for us, for the, for the dub artists, I guess you could call us, yeah. for the American voice actors, whatever the right. terminology is these days, uh, I just feel lucky that I got to be a part of something like this. I mean, I've, I've been a part of some reasonably sized shows before that right. have, have been pretty popular. First of all, that's because I just love doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will keep trying to do it as long as I can do it just because I enjoy it. Um, it's not until after the show comes out that you go, oh, that's a really big one. Yeah. That's a really big show. You never really know the reception until it's out there and it's put out there. Right. You never know how people are going to take so it. So for me, I'm just honored to be a part of it. Well, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and everything. I know that a lot of people um, that do watch my channel, they're very big Yuri on Ice fans. Um, so, uh, but thank you so much. And thank you to Jerry Jewel for coming and talking to me. And thank you guys. The entire list of my vlogs is out now. There will be links down below for you to go check it out. And a big thank you to Anime Fest for bringing me to this con in the first place because it was a lot of fun. My name is Jerry Jewel and I'm glad you all got to see us today. Bye. Bye guys.